My name is Craig Eggers and I am the Director of Consumer Electronics Marketing for Dolby Laboratories in San Francisco. This year we recently celebrated our 40th anniversary. Dolby Laboratories was founded by Ray Dolby who was a musician and enthusiastic about recording music. Um, he developed a noise reduction technology for early tape based products. Uh, those noise reduction technologies found their way into the cinema. We introduced Dolby Surround Sound in the cinema with A Star Is Born. Uh, probably most people are familiar with Dolby Surround in the cinema with Star Wars, which was the first movie to really take advantage of surround sound. In 1984, we introduced Dolby Pro Logic into the home. Uh, so that began the advent of what we call home theater in the United States or home cinema in Europe. Um, the following Dolby Pro Logic, of course, we saw the introduction of DVD, high definition television in the United States market. Uh, to accommodate those technologies and to improve and enhance upon the experience, we developed Dolby Digital, which is a 5.1 discrete audio system. Uh, and again, we introduced that into the home environment, but actually Dolby Digital was first introduced into the theater by Dolby Laboratories. There's a strong connection between what happens in the theater, be it the traditional theater or future digital cinema, and what Dolby Laboratories brings to the home entertainment experience. Well, thank you, Craig. Uh, actually, during last CDR, you showed us a very nice presentation regarding, you know, the 40 years of achievement from Dolby. And at the same time, it was an opportunity to, to do a showcase of your newest formats, naming, you know, Dolby Digital Plus or Dolby Digital True HD. So can you elaborate a little bit more about that? Dolby Digital Plus uh, is a new technology from Dolby, but it's, it's really based upon Dolby Digital at its core. Uh, Dolby Digital Plus enables us to have new efficiencies in encoding, to deliver more multi-content, uh, uh, multi-channel content uh, to uh, DBS providers, while simultaneously we can enhance the bitrate, move it all the way up to 3 megabits per second to get more channel coverage and more quality. Dolby Digital Plus has the capability in future formats to offer as many as 13.1 channels. The other technology that we introduced was Dolby True HD. In the advent of next generation optical formats like Blu-ray and HD DVD, you have a tremendous amount of storage capacity. We can take that storage capacity now and complement the HD picture with a totally 100% lossless audio system. Dolby True HD is bit for bit identical to the original studio performance. What the consumer will hear in their home is exactly identical to what the producer or the person who is creating a soundstage actually heard in their environment when they created the, the film. So that's a low slate scam of compression, that's, that's great. So how about theaters, I mean Dolby in the in cinema? Uh, are there new you know, achievements or trends for the future regarding well, the, theaters? The trend in the theater is digital cinema. Uh, eventually we will see film be replaced by the digital projection the delivery of movies via server-based systems uh, electronically, um, and eventually you will see the, the digital cinema migrate to possibly 20 channels of delivery or be in the future. Uh, we're looking to the digital cinema actually as an example for how we will deliver uh, next generation audio into the home through formats like Dolby Digital Plus and Dolby True HD.